been a heavy load on the players. We don't know much what happened to Conway, and hopefully it's something that just needs a little bit more time. So Moshevan into the lineup for Evan Conway, and San Diego will start with possession in their Tory green kits. El Paso in the all-white jerseys here tonight. And Joe Corona on the USL Team of the Week off two goals in the Open Cup. Springs the attack forward for San Diego. Ronaldo Damas up top for Loyal. So, Shan, let's kind of feel out how San Diego now will be on the attack, either with Moshoban and Damas up top, the Guido right behind him. Yeah, and the key, and Nate Miller said, is they want to get Damas behind the back line, force Yuma to chase and face his own goal. So they're going to look to have some more verticality to their game tonight. Look pass from Guido, springs things forward for San Diego. Moon still with it, with the touchline. Moon, the early cross, and right to Nets. This is Benny Diaz, who started all seven matches so far for El Paso, played every minute in Nets so far this year for Locomo. Both ends of the field, not just offensively, but defensively as well. And here he is, Guido, starting the run, cutting it to his left, trying to thread it on through. Back for Perez, Adrian Perez into the box. Oh, here we go. Locomotive have done well to recover defensively. Good <laughs> whistle here against Corona. An early card for Joe Corona. In many parts of the world, the Vegas has been so good. Guido staying with it and finally taken down. This will be a card as well. Well played by the official to allow play on first and then the call. Absolutely. That see if Guido would get some separation, but when he doesn't, she goes back, she makes the call. Gives the well-earned yellow there for Calvillo. But that's what it's going to take tonight. Oliver, no trouble at all for Coca Vegas. Adrian Perez, who scored here last time out against Tampa Bay, the game winner. His first in a loyal jersey. Coming all the way back here defensively for Loyal. That's the stuff that Coach Miller likes to see. Perez gives it, it's an easy turnover, gives it away, but he does the work defensively to get it back for his team. San Diego will play on. Adams out wide for Perez. It's across through. That was a good no call on that play earlier to before Loyal broke. Rose goes down screaming, but she, he realizes the referee's not giving the call. He's able to bounce back up. She called his bluff. And Loyal just need to be a little bit more precise on their balls in the final third. Right now, they're on the ground right in the six yard box, but there's plenty of locomotive defenders back there. Across the back line, oh. cleared in to the net. Off the foot and in. Zacharias got behind the defense. Diego Loyal, a deflection here. It's good buildup by Locomotive. Zacharias gets in behind Charlie Adams, and Kyle Adams slides. But just a bad deflection that pops over the head of Coke Vegas. Nothing Coke could have done on that. He's got an option with Charlie Adams top of the box, too. He wants to play it short. Swinging in, headed off the post! Still alive, and it cleared! Line on the initial try here. Beautiful bending ball in. Corona absolutely avoids Diaz, and it's Stoneman off the cross off the sidebar. Ronaldo, I think, caught, caught by surprise. He's unable to get a clean look at it. But look at this ball just bending in, and it just drops right there for Stoneman. The back heel look. Instead, El Paso steps in front. Now a chance here for Locomoto. Gestition. The stutter step move. He goes long range and just goes high. It was a very decent attempt at it from that far out. Perez, his goal last weekend for San Diego, game winner against Tampa Bay. Nick Moon, 
on the switch for Guido. It's going to be interesting that changes that coach Nate Miller is going to do at halftime. Usually we've spoken volumes about the depth that Loyal have, but they're down to six subs, one of which is your backup goalkeeper. Injuries and fatigue from the week. Just what tactical changes and how is he going to get these guys ready for the second half? Three matches in seven days. Speaking of that keeper, Duran Faree, the youngest shutout ever in net in USL championship history. Last weekend, the 1-0 win over Tampa Bay. Incredible. Here's Corona. Waiting to send it in. Moon. Firing away, and it's just wide from Thomas. See here, Corona chips that to the back post. Yuma flicks it on, and Moon takes it down. And the good thing is it's late in the half. Loyal have more energy, and they're surging right now. They just got to capitalize on it. That is on the overlap for Adams. Adams right oh. to Diaz. There's another one. I think if he cuts it back to Perez, Perez can take a touch. Diaz actually ate that one up right at the near post. But it's a good ending to the half with Loyal. They have the momentum, and they're showing the energy. Over here. And Guido, for arguing here, is going to get a yellow. Uh, he just catches Toomey's knee as Toomey's trying to hurdle over him. And that'll do it for our first 45, so 1-0 El Paso here on the road for Locomotive. With Costa Sheen on the ball. And... Headed, but still alive here. Lucho and Vegas will come out to it. We're going to get a card for a late kick on the keeper, but that was another good opportunity for El Paso. Against Orange County. Air on Fox 5 San Diego as well. A week from tonight. I think that stoppage in play is good for Loyal to catch their breath, but at the same time, they did have the momentum. Whenever you have a stoppage of play, that momentum goes back up for grabs. And the collision here. Ooh, and a yellow for Perez. That's a tough yellow for me. All right, stepping in front, what a ball from Moon. Toomey, look out of the box. Oh, the hesitation, no, oh, there it is! Toomey Town here in the 60th! Beautiful quality strike from Mosho Bond. He actually had Diaz out of his goal when he first picks that ball up. I almost thought he was going to shoot it here. Diaz is actually scrambling back, beats Yuma, beats Rose, picks out the corner. Absolute, that is just magic. Individual 1v1. Look at that. Beats Diaz very simply. Most people are trying to power that. He's bending that in. Charlie Adams. High into the air, that one from Stoneman, but taken by Diaz. You can sense the urgency from Loyal. They sense that they've got Locomotive on the ropes. They want to get that go-ahead goal now. Diaz trying to slow play it. He wants to take the sting out of this game. Loyal need to keep pressing, keep this momentum in this fight up. No, Lions. 
Delvio. Wide. Oh, beautiful give and go. This one in an immediate response for the second of the year. Castician makes it 2-1 El Paso. It's the player that Nate Miller in pregame talk said, number 10, he is special, but great combination play there. Plays it off of Luke Ucho, times it well, right into the stride. Adams plays it down the line for Moshe Ban. Toomey, sending it across, looking back post, it's still alive! And just clear, Diaz got a foot on it, a kick save away, and it'll be a throw in for San Diego. Diaz made a mess of that, but then saved his own hide with the second save. Loyal knocking on the door again with 10 to play. Moon. And we get a foul. So it will be a card, a yellow issued here, and San Diego will have a set piece opportunity. Yeah, he just gets both his feet in the tail end there, right? Adams cutting it back and taken down. It'll be just outside the box. So uh, close. Yellow. So close to being a penalty. Ronaldo and Toomey. And that's working. It's been effective because Adams with his left foot that just drove that right into the hands of Diaz. Good first touch from Sanupe, who's on as a sub here for El Paso, but Kyle Adams takes it away. Moshevan. Martin crossing it in. Ronaldo. And it will be, oh, an offside it looks like, just in front of net. I think Ronaldo was off, but Riley was on. And Riley actually was looking to take that shot. Still good play from Colin Martin. Beats two, three players, whipping that in. Now this one's going to go wide. So Nupe actually got a real good look at it. That'll be another corner. And that'll do it. El Paso, four wins and a draw in their last five.